So, uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome uh, the speaker on behalf of the Arab University, Torshan Buman, who, uh, who will come, uh, newborn, uh, newborn, who will come and speak on uh, behalf of Arab University. And thank you. Please, the microphone is yours. Well, if you don't mind, I prefer to sit down. I want to talk with people, not to people, and that's why I'm sitting. Primarily, I'm here to give you a hearty welcome in loco rectora. The rector isn't here. He is celebrating his 65th birthday today, somewhere in Europe. I don't know where. Uh, and secondly, I've been asked to talk about internationalization and academia, uh, which is a subject I have at least some competence to talk about in view of my own academic biography. I have spent considerable time outside Örebro, I promise you. <clears throat> So about internationalization, and I think it's a very hot topic now at Örebro, because we have decided to do something about it. The fate and future of modern universities are not only depending on how well they handle their core obligations, that is research and teaching, in an era and exclusive sense, in a word which to an increasing degree will be characterized by shifts and rifts on the global level, their international embeddedness and presence have, has become almost crucial. Internationalization can be said to have two principal dimensions or objectives. First, in a more restricted and sense it's seen as a vehicle to strengthen the university's quality of research and education. On a more comprehensive level, it marks the ambition to enhance the general cultural awareness and competence among students and immediate stakeholders. The latter obligation does not only constitute one of the fundamental and traditional civic duties of the university, but in these days of lingua bononia, or should we rather say salsa bolognese, it has also become a matter of something called employability. I don't know what that means actually, but it's very important according to politicians and bureaucrats. Internationalization is important at all levels and in all activities of a university. Ultimately, it's about transforming the entire social, cultural, and physical environment of the university by creating a truly international space for academic interaction and experience. In short, to create a fertile soil for innovative, critical thinking. It is important to emphasize that internationalization does not only mean stiffening competition, it rather constitutes a necessary prerequisite for establishing a culture of co-opetition, i.e. the optimal combination of equally intense competition and cooperation, which according to the former president of Stanford University, Donald Kennedy, is, is an essential part for any healthy and progressive institution of higher education and research. But even if this is somewhat of a, an almost splendid occasion, let's be honest. Let's be honest and admit that up till recently, 
the overall picture of internationalization at Erebro University has been that of a patchwork of different initiatives. It has been difficult to retain or see a holistic view of the university's internationalization policy. Some parts of Erebro University, not least this particular one, have already a strong international focus. But from now on, this process must be the basis for the university's overall strategy of providing excellent research and the highest quality of teaching. This is the only means to reduce the risk of getting stuck in local paradigms and idiosyncrasies that is rarely cited or even considered internationally, which means an acute risk of gradual stagnation in research and education. In summa, internationalization is not only a way of enhancing general skills or the overall cultural and professional competence and awareness of the Örebro University personnel, internationalization is the most important strategy for Örebro to gain access to the leading research and to first-class education. Through a, a sharper focus on internationalization, Örebro University aspires to become an attractive partner for universities and school, scholars all over the place. Thus, while remaining a genuinely Swedish university, it must nevertheless become quite normal at Örebro University that A, academic staff comes from other countries, B, research environments are international, C, essential parts of the course literature are in English, Courses at, at advanced level are conducted all in English, and there must be an establishment and integration of regular long-term exchange programs for both staff and students. But Örebro University neither can nor wants to force its staff and students into internationalization. However, and nevertheless, this is the direction we need to go. And we must allocate the necessary means and resources, as well as develop the competence to achieve this goal. If not, we will soon be in deep trouble. Hopefully, your initiative today might be seen as one indication that we are on the right track. Thus, I sincerely wish you will have a fruitful and inspiring conference day and at the same time help to break down some of the intellectual, cultural and other types of borders still remaining. So once again, good luck and heartily welcome to Erbru University. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Torsten. We